Welcome Taurus. Thank you for joining me on the Fool's Journey Tarot. You are watching a general love reading for the sign of Taurus for this coming week in July. Today is Thursday the 16th, 2020. This is a general reading and that means that it can't apply to anything in your life. Also, I want to remind you to be flexible with the energy. Don't be overly concerned about the gender of the cards. You can mix, mix and match the roles within the reading. And that means that you might feel like I'm reading for you, but you could feel like you're cross-watching for somebody that you're dealing with. Um, parts of the reading may resonate, other parts may not. Take what does, leave behind what doesn't. I hope that by the time you finish watching this, you feel like you have something that's beneficial and helpful to you in some way, shape, or form. That's my intention, Taurus, okay? We're going to get started after I give this deck one or two more shuffles. By the way, if you do want more specific information regarding my channel, my videos, my readings, check out the description box below. Carmilla's here. She's hanging out behind my head. I don't know why. She seems happy there, though, so I'm going to leave her be. <laughs> Let's get started. So we're going to start off with the lovers and the ten of swords in reverse. Four of cups in reverse. The Knight of Pentacles in reverse. Two of Swords in reverse. Two of Pentacles in reverse. Seven of Cups. And then we have the Nine of Wands. So Taurus, I am not seeing a real obvious message coming through just yet. This does feel like it pertains to a specific significant relationship with the lovers coming out here. Feels like a decision was made or a decision needs to be made. Or you might be questioning a decision. Right now, I'm not sure that there's much movement or much progress being made with regard to whatever this is for you. So let's get some more cards out here and see if I can come up with what else is going on since I'm not seeing much just yet. Seven of Pentacles in reverse. Ten of Cups in reverse. Queen of Swords. Four of Wands in reverse. Nine of Wands, this time in reverse. Three of Swords. Magician in reverse. And then we have the Six of Swords. So I feel like you're giving up the fight, Taurus. That's what I have more than anything right now. You're deciding to give up the fight. Throw in the towel. With regard to whatever the situation is for you. There's a lot of frustration it centers around a relationship or connection. There's some grief and sorrow. Some heartache. Maybe with the decision itself to give up. And I'm not saying that you're giving up on a relationship. I'm, I'm saying there's, some, there's energy here indicating you're giving up a fight. 
or you're not willing to put that effort into something anymore and I'm not sure that it's the actual relationship itself it could be something surrounding the relationship um, it could be that you feel like you don't have what it takes or you don't have the know-how or the skill set or the answers to continue this battle and so there's a sense of, of leaving it behind Too many questions left unanswered for Taurus. Things that haven't been moving forward, so it's time to throw in the towel, says Taurus. This could be a long-term goal that you've been working on with somebody in particular that just hasn't gone anywhere. There's stagnation, there's no movement forward, there's no progress. It could have to do with the relationship itself. Maybe the there's something going on with a connection that is has, has or is causing this level of frustration which has led to giving up this fight or giving up the battle. It's possible that there's a lack of compromise or an inability to work well together or come to agreements or... dissatisfaction with the effort made so far. We have a Queen of Swords on the table. This could be your energy or somebody that you're dealing with, Taurus. This person I feel like is kind of accepting the situation for as it, for for what it is. This person's the, the Queen of Swords is somebody who's a very intelligent, clear thinker a very um, articulate and clear communicator. There's not a lot of emotion, emotions attached to how she feels about the situation. It's just kind of like, well, this is the way it is. It's not working out. So, you know, it's not going anywhere. So maybe it's just time to give up the battle, give up the fight, throw in the towel, stop putting any effort into this because it's not going anywhere. And I don't feel that this particular person, the Queen of Swords, is feeling this grief, this Three of Swords energy. I don't think that she's feeling that. She kind of has this mindset of, well, you know, just didn't work out. So just give it up. Maybe this is the person that you're dealing with, maybe because she has a lack of enthusiasm for this project or this effort, maybe that's why it hasn't moved forward. She doesn't feel negative in her energy, she's just kind of matter of fact, kind of like meh, it's just not for me, or I just can't, I just can't see myself becoming emotionally involved in this situation or trying to make an effort, it's just not worth it for me. Let's see what else we get. Chariot. And then strength. The Knight of Pentacles again, in reverse, with the same set of cards. Four of Cups again, this time in the upright. The World. King of Wands. King of Swords in reverse. And 
and then we have a five of wands in reverse. So we have a king of wands on the table, king of swords. This might be the same person. I think it is. So I think this king of wands is, Taurus, this could be your energy again or somebody that you're dealing with, but I feel like the king of wands is the person who is grieving the loss of this opportunity or this effort, the one who's giving it up, the one who's throwing in the towel. But I also feel like he's the one who, this could have been an idea that he launched, some effort that he started or put he put the effort into it. And I feel like because of a lack of cooperation or a lack of enthusiasm for this effort, whatever this was for you, Taurus, that you're not going to fight for it anymore. But I do feel like it has to do with the connection itself. So the connection feels very important. It could be this Queen of Swords. The connection with this Queen of Swords is very important to this King of Wands. And because she didn't want this, she wasn't into it. She wasn't willing to put any effort into it. This, this thing has been set aside or given up on. Again, this could be, and I keep seeing this thing, it could be a project, it could be a business, it could be, um, it can be anything. It could be anything. Four of Wands is some, something long-term, something that you're trying to build, something that you might be trying to create. It usually involves other people. It could indicate family and home. It could indicate some kind of long-term goal that you have set for yourself. This could have been something that this King of Wands started before becoming involved with this Queen of Swords. But this Queen of Swords just doesn't, she just, she just doesn't care to put any effort into this. She's not putting anything into this endeavor. And she might be saying, you know what, this is, this is yours. This is, this is your creation or your project or your... Um, your wish, your dream. It's not mine. So you will certainly do it if you want, but I'm not going to make any effort into this. And I think this king is saying, well, you know, I, I, if I'm moving forward with this connection or this relationship itself, then whatever effort I put into this four of wands, I need to let this go because it's not It's not part of our future, so it's not part of my future anymore. So this, this relationship between this Queen of Swords, King of Wands, could be any kind of relationship. With the lovers out here, it's a significant relationship. Something that means something to both of these people. But this King's very disappointed could even be kind of kicking himself a little bit and um struggling with this decision ultimately to leave this behind i think i think there's some internal conflict that he's struggling with do i keep fighting for this or do i leave it behind there could be to a certain extent still some decision making going on but i think for the most part this king has left this behind Maybe he feels like he can't, he can't pursue this without some help. And if he doesn't have the help or support of this Queen of Swords, that it, it can't be, it can't be. So that's the basic message I've got so far, Taurus. Carmilla has been, I don't know, you know, if you're a return viewer, then you know what her usual um, antics are all about. She's usually just doing all kinds of crap to cause me grief. But lately, she's been so good. 
I don't know what got into her. She's such a calm bird. I'm just really appreciating her right now, Taurus. Maybe you can appreciate her with me. Just look how cute she's being. She's just sitting there cleaning her feathers. She's not fighting. She's not pooping. At least I don't think she's pooped. She may have pooped and it's probably rolled down my back, but at least I don't know about it yet. <laughs> I had to do laundry the other day just because I had so much crap. I mean, she just bit my ear. Just because I had so much crap on all my shirts. I wouldn't have had to do laundry if it hadn't been for her crap on, all my, shir on my shirts. <laughs> Not that you needed to know that, Taurus. I just thought I'd share since I'm shuffling. Okay, let's get some more cards out here and see if we can't spice up this reading for Taurus. It's a little bit of a ho-hum reading, if I'm being honest. So we have the Page of Wands. Judgment. There's the King of Swords again, clarifying this Queen of Swords. So these two are in disagreement, but I don't feel like, I don't feel like there's fighting I mean, there could be, but honestly, I think that, Taurus, it feels like this king, and I feel like it's your energy. So, again, if you're a female, you can certainly embody the king's energy. But I do feel like the king has avoided conflict with this queen, but he's he's in his head about it. I don't think he's having disputes or arguing with this person, but he's definitely in his head about this, giving this up, whatever this is. There's the Three of Swords again. Five of Pentacles, Queen of Wands in reverse, Four of Wands again, and then we have the Devil in reverse. So I'm going to get one more round out with this deck, but I just want to show you this set of cards. So I feel like this Queen of Wands in reverse represents this Queen of Swords. This King of Swords and King of Wands is the same person. So we have Queen of Wands, Queen of Swords, which is the same person, and we have a King of Wands, King of Swords, which is the same person. I feel like this King is bending to the will of this Queen. He's like, okay, well, you don't want this. You don't think it's right. You don't think other, you know, this is not... It's a situation you want to invest in. This king is bending to the will of this queen, even though it's not what he wants. He's like, okay, he's giving in to her. And it feels very disappointing for him. Um, and it, it, more than anything, I feel like it's disappointing because I think he's put a lot of effort into this already. I think it's, it, you know, whether it's effort, which takes the form of tossing around an idea for years and years or putting pen to paper and just writing some plans out or actually investing money or something time or energy or resources into a project I feel like this king's put a lot of effort into whatever this is and he's giving it up walking away from it leaving it behind because of this queen who has no interest in this endeavor whatever this is for this king and he's struggling with this significantly but he's making the decision to leave this behind because maybe he agrees that to a certain extent you know what it's not going to be fulfilling for those around me including this queen so I've got to give it up because it's not what they want or it's not what she wants and besides, I can't do this on my own. I need somebody to help me with it. Or I need, I need people to be invested in this with me. Or at the very least, show some enthusiasm. Or support. Even if it's support, he's not getting that. And so he's leaving it behind. The relationship feels like it's it's the priority in this situation, Taurus. Rather than this endeavor, this idea, 
you know, and this could still be, whatever this is that this king is giving up, it could be still in the initial stages. It could be that it's not that hard for him to let it go, but it does, like I said, he's put a lot of effort into it, and, and whether that means thoughts, pen to paper, planning, you know, it could be that much, ouch, could be intangible effort like that. Now, she just bit me, and I was just bragging about how good she was, and she just bit me on the back of my neck. That was mean, Carmilla. You got crap all over my shoulder. Okay. You know what? I should take what I get, right? She was nice for a little while. Anyway. This important the, this relationship is taking um, a front seat. The, the relationship itself is a priority moving forward with this relationship, this connection. Or making this connection work. And, and that means that Whatever this is for this king has to be left behind. Let's get this last round out, Taurus. See if we can't get any more details for you. I don't feel like I've gotten much in the way of specifics. It's a very general message. Um, so I hope it's resonating and I hope that it's helpful. You have the moon. Two of pentacles again. In reverse there's the Queen of Swords again in reverse the tower eight of swords in reverse page of cups the Hermit, and then the Five of Cups. So here's the deal, and I, I'm getting the feeling like this, the relationship itself is significant in this reading. And, and I'm not even sure that whatever it is that this king is leaving behind or not fighting for anymore i'm not even sure how important that is in the lives of these people that i'm seeing on this in this reading what's significant is the di the dynamic between these two people And it feels to me like there could be a certain level of resentment or unspoken feelings or emotions connected with whatever's going on here. It's almost like this Queen of, of Wands is almost dismissive of this, this thing for this king. It's really, really important to this king, and it feels like her energy is just very dismissive. Like, you know, it's just not. It's just not for us. It's not meant to be in our lives. It's not right for us. It's not something I want to invest in. I'm not interested in pursuing this. And she, it's almost like she's just the shrugging of the shoulders. Like, it's the way it is. You know, I don't want it. But I think what's more frustrating than anything else, especially for this king, and it could be the same for this queen, she's not understanding why this is so important for this king or why, why he's put so much energy or effort into this goal of his or opportunity. Um, The frustrating part for this king feels to me like this queen's response. Like, you know, yeah, okay, maybe it's not something that you care a lot about. Maybe it's not something you want to pursue in your life. But at the same time, I don't think there's anything wrong with somebody who's significant in your life to at least show a level of support. Or some empathy regarding the fact that this king has decided to let this go, 
to lo no longer fight for it, no longer work for it. And he, he's making a sacrifice. That's, that's what I'm trying to say. He's making a sacrifice for this connection, for the relationship, and the sacrifice is not being acknowledged. You know, this, this queen is, is, is not acknowledging the sacrifice. And I think that's what's most hurtful to this king is the lack of acknowledgement that this is a big sacrifice, whatever this king is giving up. And it's hurtful to him. I, I think it's making him angry, and I, I don't think he's talking about it much, honestly. If there is discussion, if there are conversations surrounding the situation, there could be some really brutal fights going on here, but I feel like this, this queen is keeping her cool. I think she's making a, a choice to keep her cool. And, and part of that could be just to not talk about this at, at all, but I do feel like there's some, some anger that could be potentially welling up within one or both of these parties. Probably at least on the side of the king. And it has everything to do with the response. with the lack of the acknowledgement of the sacrifice. And I think I think that's it that could potentially too cause some problems within the relationship. I don't think it is right now, at least not on a significant level, but it could. And mostly because I think that this queen this king is kind of dwelling in this kind of energy. Um Still, to a certain extent, in that decision-making mode, did I did I do the right thing to leave this behind? Because he's still grieving it. So the fact that this feels relatively fresh and new, as far as this king is concerned, having left this behind, um, I don't know that the situation itself has had much of an impact on the relationship but it could potentially in the future. And maybe that's why you're, ha you're getting this reading, Taurus. Because the universe is saying, you know, this is something that needs to be looked at, something that needs to be addressed. And if it's not, it could rear its ugly head in the future. It could end up biting you in the ass in the long run if you don't address this. So let's get a Dreams of Gaia tarot card for Taurus and wrap this up. We'll call it a day. That one, is there, okay, I guess I'm taking these two. I didn't want to take two, but I'm taking two. So we have the Four of Earth and the Four of Fire. Interesting. Interesting, because the Four of fire is the four of wands which came out twice in your reading this has to do with building and taking action and creating this might indicate that this king maybe this king should fight for this whatever this is that he's given up maybe renew his his interest in bringing it back to life possibly Possibly. So let's read these cards. I think they're both relatively short, so they won't take me too long to read them for you, Taurus, and then we're going to wrap this up. So we'll read the Four of Earth first. I just want to point out in the image, because this is, I really like this image. Um, this man, whatever he's doing, he's building some kind of arch or whatever, and he's got blood dripping down his arms and his face, and he's just got this really serene, calm look. Like, yeah, this is hard work, but it's worth it. I'm gonna keep doing it. I don't care if I bleed out and die underneath this structure that I've created. It's that important. <laughs> and then we have this fierce warrior who is Obviously, obviously means business. 
So these two cards definitely go together in my opinion. Okay, Four of Earth, here we go. When the Four of Earth appears in your reading, a happy and rewarding outcome is close at hand. Remember, however, that the key to completing large or long-term projects is in making slow and steady progress. The key is to put one brick on top of the other to persevere and continue to build even when you feel you want to give up. It is to remain stoic and positive in the face of hardship, knowing that experiencing frustration, fear, and doubt will only serve to weigh you down and slow your momentum. You have made real and tangible progress. Do not falter now. You are close to achieving your goal or manifesting the outcome you desire most. The Four of Earth encourages not giving up, even if weariness dogs your every move. Take a moment to look back at how far you've come and celebrate what you've achieved. Now look forward and see that you only have a few things left to accomplish. Take heart, take a moment to rest and recharge, and then continue forward with the same level of dedication. Mm, I don't know, Taurus, this is indicating you might be making mistakes, so this, this grief surrounding this decision to walk away from this thing is real and significant and something that needs to be paid attention to. So I'm just saying, I'm just saying, cards are telling you to stick with it. It's not my advice, it's spirit's advice. Four of Wands, Four of Fire. The Four of Fire is symbolic of focused mind, emotion, and deliberate action that once applied lends impetus and momentum. It means acting with both skill and accuracy and establishing a work ethic or creative process that is reflective of both. It is about focusing on the task at hand, making it the center of our attention, and not allowing distractions to cause us to lose sight of our target or objectives. The Four of Fire represents showing discipline by devoting regular time and energy to repeat pra repeated practice and application, which in turn increases skill and ability, and in doing so, make one's actions more confident and therefore faster. Goals manifest faster and outcomes are achieved with less energy wasted. With time and practice, a process can become as natural as breathing and mistakes become fewer. Unlike other animals, humans are not born with the innate knowledge required to survive. To survive, we must, both be, we must be both willing and prepared to learn. A baby first crawls, then walks, and then learns to run. That same baby cannot run before it has learned to crawl and walk. We learn primarily through a process of repetition and practice. Without repetition and practice, we may be able to learn the rudiments of new skill, but we cannot become brilliant or accomplished at it, even if we are naturally gifted. If the four of fire appears in a reading, it signifies the importance of focus, dedication, discipline, and practice on a physical level. It suggests that we concentrate now and do what needs to be done. The way we improve and achieve things faster is by devoting our attention and focus to practice. There is no such thing as an overnight success. You must first pay your dues, to be the best takes time. This, I think, is very significant. This, I mean, both of these cards go hand in hand, right? Taurus couldn't be perfect, more perfect together. I think part of this problem with this king's um, frustration is that this endeavor, whatever this is for you, Taurus, feels insurmountable by yourself it feels like something maybe you can't even do by yourself you can't manifest it by yourself you need somebody by your side or you at least need the support or you know so somebody to lend their hand or lend their ear when you need someone to listen to you and that kind of thing and i think that's the level of frustration more than anything that this king is feeling but both of these cards are indicating to push forward with this so i'm not going to tell you what to do but spirit's telling you what to do and I think that you, in the long run, may be disappointed if you don't pursue this. So maybe it's with or without this queen's support. I'm not saying that you leave the relationship behind, but maybe you still need to continue to push forward with this goal because leaving it behind is devastating. And that's probably a sign that you might be making a mistake. Okay, Taurus, I'm going to leave that here. I hope this reading was helpful. I hope it resonated. If it did, please like, share, subscribe, leave a comment if you want to. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye.